decided to set up a tribute fund for mum. Um, we thought it would, one, be a really nice way um, for people to donate. Um, some people we had from all over the world that wouldn't be able to get to the funeral. So that was kind of one of the reasons we wanted to do it. Um, another reason was we thought it'd be a good way to actually share with people that me and dad didn't have direct contact with. So mum had kind of lots of friends on social media herself um, and people that we didn't necessarily know how to get hold of. So when we set up the page, we then both shared it on our Facebooks um, and shared it onto my mum's Facebook page. So that reached a whole different audience of people um, that we might not have been able to get in contact with. We found it really helpful because we actually put the funeral details on there as well. So again, we were just kind of sending the link to that in text messages. Um, so rather than having to phone a lot of people up and do it over the phone, we put all the details on there. Um, so it was kind of initially. And then it was really nice because we started getting messages from everyone. So it was a chance for people to actually kind of write nice things about mum and write their messages. Um, and we were really surprised actually kind of five months after she'd passed away, people were actually still donating. So one of her um, old schools she worked at, the donations from all of their Christmas cards went on there. One of her friends actually asked not to get Christmas presents and for people to donate to the hospice. So um, it's really nice for us because even out of the blue you get a notification on email that actually says, oh, someone's made a donation kind of in memory. It was really easy to set up. Um, I think it was kind of exactly like a charity page. It was three or four things you had to enter um, and choose a picture and then it's there and it, it never goes down so we can always use it in the future as well.